How to use Mistral AI to process a document, a PDF document locally. This is what we are going to learn in this video. The first section of this video is going to cover the same tutorial on Google Colab. The second section of this video is going to show you the same to do it on local machine so that you can actually set it up locally. I'm also going to go over certain advantages and disadvantages in this and all this is possible due to Katana ML's open source library that they've got. So we're going to use an open source project that is available and we are going to build on top of it. Let's get Get started first thing is quickly I want to show you a demo like how does it look so I've got a PDF document here like this so this is an invoice you can see the invoice number you can see the seller client and everybody and once you go here you can ask a question at the end what is the name of the seller it says the name of the seller is Chapman Kimon Green go back here and you can see Chapman Kimon Green so this is what we are ultimately trying to build we are trying to build a system where we can have a bunch of PDFs and ask question get answers completely locally, no need for open AI and nothing else. And this demo, the one I'm showing you currently, I'm showing it on Google Colab CPU, not GPU, just CPU. Let me show you the runtime. It's just running on CPU. The catch here is that it's quite slow. So every time I ask a question, it takes at least like close to six minutes for it to answer. So it's currently slow, but the creator of uh, the project Katana ML, so they have said that they will increase the speed of it. They'll try to do it, but at least at this point, this is what it is, but still it is a very good project because you can do batch processing with this and then also get a lot of responses whenever you want. So let's go ahead and then see how to run this on Google Colab before we see running it on local machine. The first thing that you need to do is you need to clone the repository from Katana ML. So this is the repo that we are going to clone. So this repo is called LLM Mistral Invoice CPU. So this once you go here, just like copy the link, come back here, clone the repository. After you clone the repo, you have to enter into the folder. So you'll get folders like this. And after you get in the folder, you have to enter into this particular folder which we just cloned. And then we have to install the requirements. To be honest, the requirements is very straightforward, like all the libraries. There are a bunch of libraries. Uh, you're using C transformers to use the quantized model, phase CPU for the vector DB or uh, the handling the embedding, sentence transformers to create the embedding in itself. And you have got like other basic libraries that will help you use the PDF and uh, process the PDF. So after you have installed all the required libraries, then the next step is for you to download a quantized model. And that's where I want you to pay some attention because right now I've downloaded a two bit quantization model because I have only 12 GB of system RAM. If you have got more memory, you probably want to use like slightly bigger model, like a better quantization. So instead of two bit, you can probably go with eight bit or you can go with five bit. That would be much better in the way it is answering question because with two bit, sometimes it could be good. Sometimes it may not be good. And um, it, depending upon the configuration of your machine, you should always make a decision about what is the quantization model that you need to pick. So pick a model here. Once you pick a model here, you can just replace that link here like uh, with with uh, W get. So the way you do it is you pick a model here. For example, you click this and then copy the link from download, right click, copy the link and then come back here and paste the link like this. And that will ideally tell this code what model to download. Once you get the model, you have to put the model inside the models folder. So there is a folder structure here. You can see the LLM Mistral invoice CPU and inside that you can see models and inside that models, we need to put the model in itself. After you have successfully put the model, it's a three GB file. It, it takes about like uh, on Google Colab about 20, 30 seconds on local machine, depending upon your internet speed, it might take some time after you put the model in that particular folder then you need to add data to it. Right now it comes with the default file, which I just showed you the invoice that we just saw inside the data folder is where you need to put all the files. Like right now we have one file. So I'm just showing you how many files I've got. This is the invoice one I've got. So this is the same invoice we just went through. It has got a bunch of items like invoice number, date of issue, client name, product items, like the total price and all these items. Once you have the file in there ready, then the next thing is something you are going to do. It's called data ingestion. So typically if you have worked in data, ingestion is nothing but you're trying to take the items into your system. So here, what we are trying to do is we're trying to create the embeddings, create chunks of it and then use it. But before you do that, there is one thing that you need to make a change. That is you need to go to the configuration file and you need to specify certain things. What are the things? The first thing is if you have got a lot of documents, then you need to play with the chunk size 
and the chunk overlap to make sure that it handles all the documents. So based on that, you can always play with this. The smaller the chunk size um, is better for uh, uh, like you, you have, if you have got smaller documents, if you have got larger documents, use slightly larger uh, amount of chunk size and overlap. So anyways, you have like chunk size and chunk overlap. And after you do that, he, he, this is where you specify where the vector DB is going to be. This is where you specify the model type. Right now it says Mistral. This is a parameter that goes inside C transformers. If for example, if you are using Llama, then you have to specify Llama. Depending upon what model that you use, you need to specify the model here. The next thing is you need to specify the model bin path where the model file is. And that is where it is critical for you to use the same model name, like whatever model name that you use here, you need to specify the same model name here so that the configuration file knows this is exactly the model that you're using. And for embedding, what is the embedding that you're using and max new token and temperature. Temperature, you're going to try to keep it as minimum as possible because of course, you're trying to get question and answer, not a creative answer. So once you have got the config.yaml set, then you're ready to go. And uh, the next step is to do data ingestion. It will, for the first time, it will download all the required models, the embedding models, but after that, you don't have to do it. The final step is to run the main.py file with an argument to ask the question. So like here I have asked, what is the name of the seller? And it has come and given me the answer. The name of the seller is Chapman Kim and Green, and it has taken 383 seconds, which is approximately six minute ish. Yeah, it is approximately six minute ish. So you can see that it takes quite a bit of time at this point with 12 GB RAM. So always look for more options to op optimize this thing. And this is also something that I've heard from this creator of this project, Andre, who said like there are going to be optimizations and improvements. Now, let me quickly go over this before we move into the local like computer part where I'll show you on my Mac. First thing, clone the repository, enter into the folder, install all the requirements, very simple. Download the model and put it inside the particular folder. In Google Colab, you have to do it every time. Locally, you don't have to do it every time. And add the model to the models folder. Once you do that, edit the configuration file to make sure that you have got the right model in there, the right model path and the right model type and play with the chunk size and chunk overlap if you want to optimize speed and also the quality of the embeddings. Then do the data ingestion, which is going to convert into embeddings and store it in vector DB. And then finally use the main.py file to ask any question that you want. And you're going to get an answer depending upon the computer that you have got at a given speed. Now I'm going to show you the same thing on my local machine. On my local machine, a similar thing takes about 60 seconds. I've, uh, which is like one minute, I've got like a 32 GB RAM machine. So, but it's not uh, an M1 machine, it's still an M Intel machine. So it, it takes a bit of time. And uh, one thing that I wanted to point out is it also hallucinates sometimes that could also be probably attributed to the model that we are using. I'm using a two bit quantized model. So if you don't want it to hallucinate, use a bigger model uh, that uh, always helps you. So what are the steps? The steps are quite clear. Let me clear my terminal to show you the steps. The first thing that you need to do is exactly everything that is on the Google Colab, you can copy and paste here. So you can go here, literally git clone, git clone, copy it, come back here, paste it. Then the next thing, what is the next step that we are going to do? Next step is we are going to enter into the folder. So enter into the folder, cd, LLM Mistral invoice CPU. The next thing is pip install requirements.txt, requirements.txt, install all of them. Then you download the model. The good thing with local file is once you download the model, it is going to be always there. You do not have to download it every time. Then the next thing is you have to go and do the configuration file. You have to update the configuration file. And that is where I'm going to show you inside the Google, uh, VS code, Visual Studio code. If you go inside configuration.config.yaml, you can just see the settings. For example, you can see where the model is what the model type is and you can play with the chunk size and chunk overlap and also you can sometimes reduce the max tokens it might increase the speed for example we can keep it 512 depending upon the questions that we're going to ask we can play with these things and then finally save it once you save it you can again go back to the terminal either inside mac or uh, inside your visual studio code and the next thing that you need to do is you need to cop run ingest.py once you do ingest.py, the ingestion is done. At this point, you can just do um, Python 3 main.py. What is the name of the seller? You can ask the question and it is going to generate an answer for you. I'm going to ask another question for you live so that you know you understand that I'm not just cheating around. So what 
kind of question we can ask. We can go ask what is the tax ID. Let's see. Let's try this. What is the tax ID mentioned in the document? Ask this question and you can also ask specific questions. For example, you can uh, go and ask what is the price of this product you can just go and ask like exact value you can ask these questions as well but uh, right now i asked what is the tax id mentioned on the document as you know it's going to take a bit of time so i'm going to edit that part so right now previously what took 59 minutes has taken 30 59 seconds right now has taken 38 seconds probably could be attributed because to the max new tokens that we reduced Anyways, we have got the tax ID here, the tax ID that is mentioned in the document. Let's go verify if the tax ID is correct. 9498491105 and it is wrong. Oh, oh, sorry, my bad. Oh, we have got, we, my bad. Uh, so we have got a client tax ID and we have got a seller tax ID. So this is the seller tax ID that we have got. You can go ahead and then ask any question and you can also further, you know, for example, reduce this uh, like 100 tokens and then see how does it go. So for example, I can go ask what is the IBAN number. So let me ask IBAN, IBAN mentioned on the document and it is going to create an answer for me. Let's see how much time it takes. Right now it took 44 seconds. So I'm not very sure how this is happening. Let's check the IBAN number ends with 7063 starts with GB. So let's go here and check the document starts with GB ends with 7063 assuming it is good. So the good thing with local models are uh, you don't have to download it again and again. And because this is a very straightforward Python command, you can set the, the set this entire thing up like a shell shell script and you can get structured information, put it in a CSV. I mean, the it's, it's quite limitless what you can do and uh, nothing goes out of your local machine. All the data are protected and private inside your local machine. No APA cost to open AI and you don't even need a GPU for this. So once again, thanks to Katana ML for uh, making this project available and making it open source that we all can use it. Definitely go start this repository and uh, yeah, kudos to Andre for putting this out. Andre has a very cool YouTube channel if you want to try it out, like it has got the same tutorial on the local machine that you can just see directly from the creator. But otherwise, it's a very simple five step process for you to do PDF local data processing using Mistral AI, which is a model that everybody has been excited about. Let me know in the comment section what do you feel about. I link the Google Collab and also the repository in the YouTube description for you to right away get started. See you in another video. Happy prompting.